Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Tuesday, the 14th of January 2020 is The past is the future. In the past you were shown how, how my true church should operate. Right at the time after my ascension they walked in spirit and truth. They proclaimed my resurrection and the gospel of the kingdom boldly. They spread my word to all nations and they fed my sheep. The past is the future. Now is the time to restore my church to its former glory and to walk in wonders and miracles again. Reset your church to the past so that it will become your future. I want a church that follows me wherever I go, a church that is my bride and a royal priesthood. A church that is active and moving like a whirlwind through the earth. The past is the future. You are my church, my bride, my royal priesthood, and you will establish my dwelling places on earth, in your houses and in your neighborhoods. Power will be given to you. The Holy Spirit will cover you, and my protection and provisions will be poured out onto you. Do not be afraid to leave the old, but embrace the new thing that I am doing. The past is the future. And this was the Daily Prophetic Word given for Tuesday the 14th of January 2020 by the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, when I first heard this in my, in my mind, when I first heard it, the past is the future, then I thought, what? But it is exactly, it's all about the restoration of all things. And it's all about paradise. The past will come up again. As it's written in the Bible, there's nothing new under the sun. And so the past is our future. We have to restore the altar to its former glory. If you read in the book of Acts how the first Christian had a lot of zeal and miracles and wonders were following them wherever they were going. They had all in one accord. They had everything in common. They shared resources. They sold excess and laid it at the feet of the apostles. They supported one another. They lifted up the widows, the orphans, the needy the nameless and faceless. How far have our churches today gone away from that? How far have we come away? Then you can really say we were falling away from the true path. But now we have a chance to reset it back, to restore it back to its former glory. That's the reason why I'm calling you as Michael, I'm calling you to establish the dwelling places of Zion in your houses, in your apartments, and in your neighborhoods, so that the altar can be restored to its former glory, and that we can focus 100% on the heavenly realm, 100% on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and 100% on our Father, God Almighty, filled with the Holy Spirit, walking in spirit and truth, powerfully, as it was before. Not praying for wonders and miracles to come, but walking in them every day. Please, brothers and sisters, restore the altar to its former glory. The past is the future. Do not forget that we have now training sessions on Sundays, live and a community session every Thursday live. Informations are in the first pin comment. Please join us, learn and establish a home church in your house and in your area to serve the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as his true bride, to walk with him wherever he goes. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Praise the Lord. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow 
for the next prophetic word. Have a great day. Maranatha.